G'day and welcome back to Down the Shed with Byron. Today on the old GQ Patrol, we're going to have a crack at sorting out the handbrake. Tools for the job, now um, just a couple of pry bars, podgy bar, um, a flat blade screwdriver is handy. Now if you haven't got one of these brake adjusting tools, that's okay, you can get away with using a um, screwdriver. A couple of pointy nose pliers, um, you can get away with the stumpy ones. Uh, wire brush and a couple of spanners to undo the drive shaft, a copper hammer or your normal hammer, just be careful. Uh, then you've got a bit of WD-40, some copper grease. Also, some brake clean you'll need, a few rags, that'll help you out. Make sure you've got the front wheel chocked, then jack up the patrol underneath the diff and place some jack stands underneath. Now you can get yourself under the patrol and there's your handbrake assembly. So sometimes uh, these rubber grommets will be missing, but if they're there, just give them a good coat with WD-40 before you try and pop them out and literally get the screwdriver underneath them and just work them. Now, they will be hard and hard to get out sometimes and possibly break. So just be aware, you might have to buy a couple spares. Now there is two, there's one at the bottom and one at the top, but don't worry about that for now. We're just gonna move on to removing the drive shaft so I'll just spray some WD-40 on the threads just to um, help with removal. Now I've got the handbrake applied as tight as possible, but I have a feeling it's still gonna slip. So with a 17 mil spanner, yep, it's still slipping. What we'll do is we'll get a pry bar or a podgy bar and wedge it in between uh, the uni joint here and we'll spin that around till it locks up on the floor without damaging that grease nipple. And then we'll come around this one. Let's see if that one, there we go. So we've got that one to undo. And just continue with all of them like that, just to get them cracked off initially. Well, what did I say about that grease nipple? <laughs> um, so, note to self, go to the other side and lock it up in there, then we'll be able to undo that final one. With all those nuts undone now, put them out of the way. Should be able to get the pry bar just under and um, just wiggle the shaft off, hopefully. And with a little bit of persistence, just working it back and forth, even spray a bit of WD-40 back in here, we're able to get that off. Now we'll just slide that out of the way. Now you can take that shaft completely out if you want. Um, but now what we'll do is we'll spray some WD-40 just around the handbrake assembly here. the handbrake released spins around nice and easy trying to get the drum off is going to be our next drama so what we'll do is because we've got it lubed up is we'll give it a tap with a soft hammer or copper hammer even uh, a heavier hammer but just be aware not to damage it or crack it and we'll just hit that in a few spots just to um, free it up That's kind of freed it up. Oh, there we go, she's come off. Now, doesn't always happen like that. So, I'm pretty lucky there. Let's have a look what we've got. So let's have a look. <laughs> There's those little rubber grommets that I was talking about. Um, old mates probably accidentally pushed them all the way through. They got jammed in there. See them out. The uh, lining on that side is pretty much gone and the lining on that side there is there but not a lot <laughs> and there's our adjuster so we'll pull that out and um, clean them all up I've got brand new shoes to fit what I reckon we'll try is um, we'll just give it a free up and I'll remove that adjuster first 
So just with a flat blade screwdriver and the pry bar, see if we can pull them apart and pop that adjuster out. There we go. I should have noted to you guys before I pulled that out is make sure you take a photo of the area just so you've got a reference. Went all that, eh? Get that out of the way. It's loosened up that lower spring. Let's see if we can ah, get that off. Now there's probably a proper tool for this instead of a pair of pointy nose. We've got that out. Now I'm just gonna move on to the retaining pins, which are held by a spring and this little retaining plate. Now on the back here, I'll take a photo, put it up. Just put your finger on it and try it. There is actually a tool for this, but just use these pliers, hold that pin, and we just gotta turn it 90 so that lines up like that and comes off. I'll show you a breakdown a bit better on the ground. So here's that little pin I was talking about. Now that will go through the back of the retaining plate, so retaining plate. Then it goes through the brake shoe. Then you've got these little retaining washers. They've got like a keyway that slides over. Then where's the spring? There it is. And you've got the spring sits in there and what we're just doing then is we're pushing the spring down so focus all right we're pushing the spring down and then rotating it to pull that off so the next bit is a little bit tricky so that spring there I'll get some pointy nose pliers onto it and I'll try and pull it across to the left to undo it off that um, pivot sort of shaft there and do the same on the other side and it should drop the shoes down. Now that wasn't the easiest job to do but now we've got the shoes out it's time to disconnect the cable. So what we'll do there so we'll pull that spring back, hopefully hold it just like that, will that wiggle out, come on please, <laughs> right let's try again, let's try that again, With the pointy nose pliers holding that spring back, can we rotate that around, <sighs> come on, we got it. Right, here we go. A bit of a layout of the parts. So we've got an adjuster, which we're gonna pull apart, clean up. That's a retaining spring. These are the retaining pins that hold the um, shoes in place, but that one's bent. So I'll either bend it back or see if I've got a new one somewhere. A um, couple of retaining springs. Oh, what was it? That was a little rubber grommets. <laughs> So, yeah, they've seen better days. So here's the brake shoes. That one's knackered. Metal on metal. That's the other side. Um, now, we'll have to disconnect this and put onto the new. Now, the drum isn't too bad, but I'm gonna go get it machined anyway. Two top um, retaining springs that were a little bit tricky to get out. So they go like so. Now the part I was fighting with on that handbrake was this little section here. So let's just pretend that this is the cable that slides into there and the bigger section at the other end is meant to lock it in. So that's where your handbrake works. But um, I, couldn't just, I couldn't get it to push out and rotate. That's what I was fighting with. Now to the mission of getting these little retaining clips off. And what I've done is I've just separated between the two of them, got them freed up with two screwdrivers, and then just worked it off gently with the screwdriver like that. All right, that's one side done because this is a little spring sort of washer here too. Get that off, 
showing it. So hopefully that focuses. That's a little spring type washer as well. All right, that's one shoe off to the other. Try and show you what I was doing. So I put the screwdriver in between there somehow and just work it until I could get it to separate. That makes it a bit easier putting in the vise. So I've just got those two to sort of separate. Let's put two screwdrivers between it and try and work them, just twisting them. There we go, it's prying apart now. We may need a couple of new ones for this. Let's see if we can get it. There we go. Come on. There we go. Come on. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Woo! We got it. Let's pull that one off. A little washer. Alright, pull that out. With that lever removed, um, I'll probably end up disconnecting that pin as well, pull it apart, lube it up, um, clean it up. Now, check out the old shoe <laughs> compared to the new shoe. So yeah, the reason why we're changing them out. So just before I head down to get that drum machined, um, I thought I'd go through my cupboard and have a look at it, what odds and ends I've got. And my mate Daz gave me this brake shoe repair sort of kit obviously he paid five bucks for it back in the day <laughs> and look what we've got we've got some new retaining pins which hopefully work oh that's pretty close eh um so we'll have a look through here what i've got that might be able to help us out so thanks daz sweet dirty thumbs up mate right we'll run down get this uh drum machined and then i'll be back and we'll go through reassembling it. Well, after looking in that kit, I end up finding a couple of these pins that will suit for what we need. So we'll replace those. I went down to Knight Industrial, thanks to me mate, Brendan, for uh, machining this drum up for us, mate. And even giving it a Dulux rebuild. <laughs> Good on you, mate. Now, I went over all the parts and gave them a wire brush and a clean up. So now they're pretty much ready for assembly. And the next stage, what I'll do is I'll put a bit of um, grease inside that adjuster or some copper grease and um, lube that up, put that back together. Then we'll put a bit of copper grease on each one of these little pins before we reassemble it all together um, just to help it move and hopefully stay rust free. Now to get that little clip on, wasn't too bad. Um, I'm just using some squared off uh, pointy nose pliers or you could probably use some normal pliers. And hopefully you could see it in the video, I squeezed on the side just to initially get it in. And then where the little, um, that focus, those little tabs are, I was able to just grab it enough with the end of the pliers and squeeze it in and then finally just squeeze it in all the way home. Now that's moving beautifully, we'll uh, put these into the brake shoes. Alright, that's all back together now. Let's go throw it back into the, um, in the patrol. With all the area cleaned up, I've just put some copper grease on that pivot point there. So I want to put the shoes on, it's got a bit of lube. We've just got to pull that retaining spring back now. I'll hold that with the pointy nose pliers and we'll try and feed that through that lever. There we go, all right. I'll just give you a bit of a zoom in of what I've just done. There you go. So I just held that spring back with a pair of um, pointy nose pliers 
I just opened that little gap up a little bit with a pry bar just to help me get the cable in. That's pretty much it. Now we'll rotate that assembly up and fit it in. So I just rotated the assembly. Just feed that over. Line that up. Now with the brake shoes up into place, I just fitted that um, spring on the left hand shoe. Then I put that big retaining washer into place up there and pulled the spring over the um, anchor point. Now I'll move on to the other side where it's the same procedure, just the retaining of the spring onto that anchor point goes opposite. Gentle persuasion with the pointy nose pliers and um, screwdriver, I was able to get that into place. Now I'll move down and we'll put the other retaining spring into here and then put the injure the adjuster in place. Now to get the adjuster in, it was a bit of a pain, but what I did is I put the pry bar just the inside of the shoe here, held that with one end and put the flat blade screwdriver on the other and I was able to cross them over and hold it with one end. Squeeze them together and overlap them a little bit and then I was able to push the adjuster in. Alright, the next tricky bit. So we'll just fit in this uh, retaining pin, go through, on the hole, push that shoe back. Now it's got a seat, so which is one of these retaining clips. Just push that on. That goes back. Now we've got the spring. Put that on. Now here comes the tricky part. So now we've got to try and fit that and rotate that pin at the same time. Um, we'll see how we go. So what I've done is got the pointy nose pliers and just held that retaining clip like that and then pushed that onto the spring and gave it a bit of force. And as we got it to that point where the um, locks lined up, I able to push it over, turn it, and that locked into place. We have it. It's all pretty much back together. What I'll do now is I'll just adjust that adjuster out just to show you which way to go and then we'll put the drum on and adjust it up. With a flat blade screwdriver or brake adjusting tool, if you wind that winder down, it pushes the brake shoes out. So that'll be applying it. Now to back it off, just wind it back up and that'll bring the brake shoes back in. So before I go fit in the freshly machined drum, we'll just give that a clean out with some brake clean and then I'll put some copper grease or never sees just up on the flange area there where the brake drum mounts up to so hopefully prevents it from rusting next time. Now we'll just slide the brake drum into place just over those studs. I should give that a bit of a wriggle. Brake drum on. Just give it a bit of a spin and make sure it's all the way home. And once you're happy with that, just rotate it around till you line up the adjuster with this hole. Now with a flat blade screwdriver or brake adjusting tool, just wind that little adjuster around until the brake drum is locked up. There we go, now that drum's locked up. What I'll do now is we'll just back that off a couple of turns, or a couple of little notches. Backed off enough where you can just hear it dragging. So I'm gonna go maybe one more notch, and then we'll just double check that. Now with the handbrake lever, you want about, nah, seven to nine notches um so that's one two three four five 
six-ish. Ah, I'll be happy with that. Yeah, that'll be good. Back under the patrol now. We can put those rubber grommets, at least one of them back in for now, and reinstall that um, drive shaft. Double check your adjustment again, but otherwise that should be pretty good. Well, I'm glad I got that job done. It's just another one off the list for the old girl. Um, I hope this video helps you out with um, even adjusting your handbrake. I'll put a time lapse thing in the description. I'll also put all the parts I used in the description. That might help you out. All right, if there's anything I've missed, please throw it in the comments to help others. All right, take it easy and see you when I'm looking at you.